Hey guys, this is Steve with the Blackbird X10. Right now I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the alerts on the Ares X10 and the, uh, the fail safes. So whenever you boot it up in GPS mode, it links up with the satellites and knows its home position. So that's obviously after you've calibrated the compass. So if, for instance, you're flying it and you're getting something that's a little far away, but you really, you're trying to get it and you accidentally push it out of range, the Ares will take over and fly itself back to its home position, hover about 10 to 20 feet off the ground for a minute or two, um, and then slowly land itself. Then you can power it back off, reconnect everything, and continue to fly. That's just so that we don't have anything happen with the with the bird while it's in the air, and uh, you know you accidentally runs out of control and then hits a you know hits a building and does some damage. Um, another fail safe with it is if the controller loses connection, it will do the same thing. So say your batteries run out in your transmitter, it will do the same thing. Return to home. Now a caveat with the fail safe. You can fly about 20, sometimes 25 minutes on one battery here, but I've found it's safest and most accurate to fly under 15 minutes. So I always put on a little timer. Once I hit 15 minutes, I'm bringing it in and I'm landing it. I usually even start trying to bring it in if I know I'm gonna be flying it a far way away for about 12 minutes because the toughest part about it is getting it in position. And the worst thing you want to happen is by break your drone by having it way out where you're not prepared um, and it dies and then something terrible happened. Um, so let's talk a little about alerts, speaking about battery life. There are two types of main alerts that I'm watching for when I'm flying on the drone, and that's the battery alert. And there are two different kinds. There's the first battery alert, when happen which happens whenever you have a few minutes left of flight. So approximately five minutes left. But it all depends again on weather. And that's gonna be one solid beep or blink, pardon me, of the red and green LEDs. And you can see it from a long way away, but again, I always exercise responsibility when I fly because in bright lights, sometimes you can't see it. The second alert is an emergency alert, and that is a fast blink. And now that is your responsibility to bring the drone home and fly it and make sure you don't fly past the battery capacity. There is a fail safe in position that should take over whenever the, the drone reaches a a very, very low battery life and it estimates it cannot reach home without it taking over at this point. But again, that is a pure estimation and just a fail safe. It is the responsibility of the pilot to know what their equipment is capable of doing and keeping it safe for everyone around. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and please fly responsibly and have a lot of fun because they're a blast to fly. Um, just be safe about it.